Hey, in this video, we're going to be reviewing the Devos Light Ranger 1200 and why I have officially switched from the UFO from Overland Vehicle Systems. Let's get into it. This is Robert from Sherburn Outdoors. Welcome back to the channel. So hey, I did a video earlier this year where we had our little Overland Vehicle Systems UFO. You know, it's very beefy, very heavy, uh, and I loved it. You know, I, I, I said this is the last one you ever need to, to buy. Now with that said, uh, you know what, after a couple trips, this thing's big. It comes in this huge case. You gotta put it together. It doesn't fit in any of my Rome cases that I have. So if we look right here, I, I like to uh, have a Rome case on the back of my vehicle as well as in the, in the tailgate. And I really wanted this to be able to fit in the one on the back of the vehicle right next to our 105 liter, or actually 95 liter, right next to our rooftop tent. If we look here, this one fits perfectly in there. The other thing I had to do is if I had a bunch of firewood, I couldn't put this big case in the bed of the truck. It had to go in the back of the truck. So I decided to make a move. Went to this Devos. It's about 160 bucks. It's 1200 watts. It's very, very light. Very light, actually. Um, it's telescopic. It's got everything built in. There's nothing to put together. Let's, uh, if I just pop this out, you can see all the legs just pop out. You can fold it down. And now we have it simply set up and it's super easy. Let me just pull this to the side and let's just look at these. So this is an example of how industrial this UFO is. It's really good. I do like it, but let's put this down on the ground and let's just pull this up. So that's one of our telescopics. And then, you know, if we wanted to, we can go to here. Now this is a very simple system. It's got one button on the lantern, not as flexible, with the as the ufo with having the light pockets and having the integrated radio and all that stuff but if i just pop it gives me one setting i can dim it down it'll go down to the next one and then i can dim it down again it'll go down to one so the battery life on this thing's pretty pretty dynamic actually you can get with full setting on this we can go to three and a half hours down to one we can go at 16 hours you can 60 percent charge at one hour and you can charge it up all the way at a roughly four and a half hours. I've done a couple trips with this so far. Two trips, one charge. They were just one-nighters. This is really great. Now, one thing I do like is this thing goes really high. It has a nine foot and go all the way up. Why is that good? A, one, it spreads uh, the formation all around. And two, it keeps the bugs up higher. It does have some filters you can put on for some red and amber. I just go with the white light. This thing has been great. Again, I do like the UFO. It's just a little bulky for what I'm doing. I'm going to, U uh, to Moab this summer and I need compact. So if we look here, this is how I put it into my Rome containers uh, that go in the back of the truck and it just fits in there so simply. So I am a big fan of these so far. This has been really good. It comes with, um, <laughs> you know, as that comes with a big case, this just comes with a bag you shove it into and then you sho I just shove it in the wrong boxes. It's really well made. Now this top does come off, so if you wanna hang it as a lantern around, you can, but that's really the only configuration you have here. And then when you're done, you just basically fold it up on your telescopic, you know, undo this a little bit, push this up, that's it. This is a uh, set it up and go. In this case, I would uh, take it down and then just throw it in my box and we would be off and going. So with that said, hey, I wanna thank everybody for watching this video. Hey, if you got a lot out of this, please click the like. Don't forget to hit subscribe and click that bell to be notified when I got new videos out. Thanks for everybody's time, have a great weekend.